Hey everyone, Diogo Marquez here, your friend in sales. Today I want to talk about the main purpose of your activity when you're doing it. And this is really important and makes it clear for you every time that you are trying to attain your goal on a, on a daily basis. You need to know how much is your time's worth so that you can choose appropriately who are you going to speak to every single day in order to have the economics of it make sense. I'll give you an example. Let's say, let's say you have like this web page and there's traffic coming in and you have a product that costs like 50 bucks or something like that, right? If you have enough volume, probably you make it work if it's like an ebook or something like that, right? But if you are doing some sort of consulting advice, meaning like you call, you actually needed to call someone and have, having them like be sold on you and then they pay the insurance company and then you get paid from the insurance company, right? You need to up level the level of premiums that the comp that the client is paying the, the insurance company because otherwise the economics won't make sense. And I'll give you an example from my own experience because I think it's more valuable when you're speaking like without any bullshit telling you exactly from experience. Last year, I worked with a performance marketing agency. It was great guys, but they had a problem because they essentially, well, it became a problem in the end, but in the beginning they told me, listen, we can bring you mortgage protection leads. People essentially that they have like a, a house with a bank that that service carried from the bank and the bank has them have a life insurance policy on them in case something happens, right? So essentially they have like 100 and 200 K houses and they have, a, they have a, let's say it's a loan to value 80% or something like that. So they have that, that part covered from the mortgage protection, from the life insurance company that is protecting the, in case of them, something happened to them. So this usually ends up being around 100 bucks to 200 bucks a year in premiums. And this presents an economical challenge because I was getting a bunch of leads every single day. I mean, it's like tens of leads like every day. So you had like a, a enough consistent deal flow to talk to people every single day. But the problem was, Essentially, economics didn't work. You ended up making like 38 calls a day or something like that. Call those people, pretty much close them all, right? But then, like the when you come to the economics part of it, it just it doesn't work because out of those 100 bucks they pay the, the insurance company, they are broke. So they ask for monthly payments. So it's 100 divided by 12, and then you are going to get paid from the insurance company minus taxes. So essentially you make no money and wasted a bunch of time of your knowledge and expertise and all that talking to people. That's essentially the economics of it don't, don't, doesn't make sense. And then on the other hand, I have one client, they have ex, uh, two uh, business owners, it's uh, like, um, um, husband and wife, they are business owners of the same, the same venture. And they paid a life insurance policy premium, like upfront with no, like, no installments, anything like that they paid 6,500. So I had one call in one day, right? just one morning, two good vibe dudes, right? even offered me a coffee. Imagine like, they have employees, the dude has a bunch of money, right? And he pretty much signed a contract of 6,500. So out of that, the premiums are a little bit different than someone that is paying 100 bucks a year divided by 12, right? Nada taxes. Both of them are nada taxes, but it's like, one is like in a couple, just one hour of your time, right? You talked with a really qualified person that paid the amount of money that you need in order to keep your business sustainable. So the question now becomes, obviously you need more people like that, but sometimes you will find that it's, it's a bit of a struggle because you can find you like referrals, but those people don't work. You can like try to find more people like him in that same type of uh, business and it doesn't work where at least like come in time that you need them first. So you'll find yourself with enough time on your hands and you need to do something about it. So I stopped working with a performance marketing company because they were bringing me leads that I would spend like the majority of my energy and time speaking with people that have no money and the economics don't make sense. And on the other hand, I just made like one call, right? And I got paid like a large consistent amount of money different from all those people that we're talking to. So you need to be clear exactly who you need to be addressing your efforts in order to get people like that. And what I have been doing so far, and I've got some consistent results 
on what's happening and I need to understand exactly how to get this better. But this is what I wanted to share with you guys because I think this is really important. I'm not spending a dime on Facebook on any source of ads. That's it, zero. I'm spending zero on ad spend. That's zero ad spend here. What I am doing is I'm going on LinkedIn and I'm picking up my phone and I'm making a list of people that seem to me that are qualified like that specific couple that I closed. And what I do is I find those phone numbers because you'll find that sometimes, yeah, well, that's, I don't know the statistics, but a lot of people there, they have the phone number there. So just call them. See, it costs you zero. And there's a high percentage of these people having employees and having like a structure that makes sense. So when they sign the, the, the insurance contracts, like everything is working out. I'll give you an example. One of the people that I called, she's a business owner with a husband. See, see the similarities? And they are in technology. And this is something that is really important that my mentor told me, and I think it's really valuable for you as well. Here now, in this specific part, part of time, people are struggling, but that doesn't mean that people are not spending money. They're just spending money differently. So I found people that essentially are like off market. You know what I mean off market? It's like against the cycle. It's like if they had a restaurant, now the restaurant is closed, so they're struggling. But they have an online business, they pretty much like everything is okay, right? So they have like less customers, something like that, but still having a different structure, right? Because they are operating expenses like a lower. So you start to, you need to qualify your leads before you call them. That way, since your amount of energy is the same, right? You're calling people like throughout your day that in your assessment are similar to the ones that are ideal for you, right? Because you want to make like 30 or 50 calls, something like that a day. So you, you might as well making those calls based on an educated guest, guess, an educated guess on people that they are similar to that first couple that's like you see that this is my ideal client. And when you start doing that, you, you get closer to your objective. And you'll find that the more calls you make on people that you look at their profiles on LinkedIn and see they're pretty much, they look similar, same industry, they look, they have employees, they, well, let's, let's try this out. Right? And you'd be surprised that some of them, like they are good vibe people, why wouldn't they, right? You'll find every, they, you'll find from jerks, you'll find from people that are like, let me talk with my wife and my husband and my dog and my Martian cat friend and whatever, right? And then you have people that meet you, right? Those are the ones. And I wanted to share this with you because that's, this is what I have been doing. You need to keep yourself sustainable. And if ad spend on the type of leads that you're looking for, you're having trouble getting that to work, it doesn't mean that won't work and it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be uh, investing on Facebook and Google ads and all that, that's great. But if at this specific point, if it is not working, you can find other ways of making it work in your specific country because sometimes the rules are different, a little bit different. You need to understand the thing, how it works so that economically it makes sense for you. Right? So the same performance marketing company in another country, probably it would be different, but here it is different in a way that it doesn't work for me. So I needed to kill the business. In that way, I just use my efforts to closely qualify people first, like I make a list, let's say 50 people that I will be calling the next day and say, these sounds, they sound good, right? So then you start calling them and you start seeing this is a jerk, this is a jerk, this is like, let me think about it, right? And then you have a couple of meetings with people that are qualified. I'll give you an example just to close this up. One of these people that I called, she had, she w they were like his husband and wife and they're like, eight of them, I think. I said between six and eight of them, I think. And they, it averaged an amount of 30,000 in premiums, right? So once again, it's like finding people that are li just like that, right? And if you focus your efforts on qualifying people first, not just calling like randomly, like uh, out of the phone book, just go on LinkedIn. This is my best advice for you. This is what I've been doing so far. I, I need to eat based on my assessments of these people because those are the ones that I will be closing. So go on LinkedIn, find people that are business owners and they're looking like 
off cycle, meaning they're like they're not going to the, thre- do the same trouble that let's say restaurant owners are going through at a specific case. Let's say a technology company, right? So go online, find these people. Must be mom and pops thing, or like let's say like a couple of friends, like younger people, right? And they have like it's not right in the beginning. They already have something going on, right? They have four or five employees, like they have some sales, right? Find these people, like. And then it's a matter of volume. That's another, it's another story for another video, but it, find these people, that's the most important thing. Forget about people telling you they're doing 500 calls a day, that's just bullshit. Forget about that. I have books here, one of them here, from someone that was making 25 million a year in life insurance premiums. You know what he did? Exactly the same thing. I was in awe when I, wrote, when I read the book and I knew to myself, I must be right, because I have people like from the past century and they were doing the same things. And what he was doing, it was qualifying people first. And he knew that he could only make so many phone calls a day. And in specific case, it's 50 calls a day. So you are going to do this exercise, focusing on finding 50 people for you to call the next day and try to the best of your ability to qualify them so that when you are calling them, it's like you have a lesser error from your estimates than just calling people just out of the blue and hoping for the best. So I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any further questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Stay strong.